miss you always. There you are. You made me happy sometimes. You are beautiful. You made Let's see you up close. But there were times, dear, you made me feel. Sorry, I, I, uh, just got here super early. I didn't, I didn't think anyone would mind. That's all right, man. Just don't let Susan catch you, all right? You mind taking the kids' party today? Sure, why not? Thanks. Fake sick when you were a psygote. Get out. No. Kevin, I rearranged my entire day to take you to this stupid party, so that's what we're doing. Get out. <sighs> okay, you wanna be a child about this? tubing with your friends? They're not my friends. I don't get it. Well, I get it. And I'm gonna be on the beach the entire time. If Jim tries pulling anything, I'll put him in his place. Just what I need. You know what I mean. Listen, I won't let anything bad happen to you, okay? As long as you can at least pretend to enjoy yourself. Fine. <sighs> that wasn't so hard, was it? I feel like we should like hug or something. I don't think we're there yet. Hey, oh, hey. <laughs> hmm, what do you think of oh. <laughs> Chef, <laughs> Where's Carson? I think he's meeting us here. Shut up. He didn't text you back. He was probably driving or something. Sure. Bree, I know you don't like him, but can you just. I have nothing against Carson. I just don't necessarily have anything for him. Wait, Ree, what are you wearing? A beach club. Just for the beach. Go put something else on quick before Miss Conrad sees you. Al, a Susan Conrad is nothing but a shallow, stuck up hag. Correction, she's a powerful, influential hag that can get me a letter of recommendation for college. Ellie! Ah, oh, please. Hey. Hi, Mrs. Conrad. <laughs> nice to see you. Mm, uh, please, Allison, call me Suze. <laughs> After all, you and Carson have been dating for what seems like forever. <laughs> okay, Suze. Are you Kevin Chaperone today? Uh, yeah, for a bit. My mom's got a lot on her plate. Oh, sure she does, hon. It's great to see you, Kevin. Jim was so excited when I told him you were coming today. I bet he was. Yeah, they're just over there. And I see that you have brought a friend who had the super instinct to ignore the club's dress code. Oh, thanks. You like it? Oh, it's a look, hon. Hey, 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 Mom. How's, Hi. Uh, oh. What are you doing? Just having a lovely conversation with Allison and her friend. I'm um, sure you were. All right, enjoy yourselves. We will, Mom. Bye. Bye. <laughs> are you sure you're not adopted? Oh, yeah. Trust me, I try. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Ugh. Someone call the police. The fun killer's arrived. Ah, uh, stop trying to steal my girlfriend, Ray. Green is the tragic color on me, Carson. What? Why didn't you answer a text? I was driving. See? So you guys are gonna have to be my eyes and ears out there. You see one of your buddies go down, you scream, man down! As loud as you can, that way I'll come and pick you guys up. Let me hear you try it. Man down! All 
All right, let's get the life jackets on and we'll head out in the water. Sorry. It's okay. Just so you know, the only reason my mom made me invite you is because your dad's dead. Is everything okay over here? You bet. I'm Daniel. Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. Don't listen to kids like him, okay? How was that? That was great. Good, good. Who's next? Kevin hasn't gone yet. Good to go, Kev? Susan. Oh! I am so sorry I'm late. I had a last minute appointment. Hi, guys. Diana. Mm. It's okay, dear. I know you have to get an extra hours when you can. Have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> Relax. Thanks. Where are the boys? Oh, out on the water. It's so great to see the boys together again. They used to be so yeah. close. Mm -hmm. Um, is everything okay at home? Thank you. Yeah, why? Well, Jimmy told me Kevin had been dropped from the honors program. Kevin is just fine, Susan. Good. Good.
I'll be right back, okay? okay? Oh, wow. You're gonna have a real gnarly scar there, buddy. Badge of honor. I cannot thank you enough. Really? Thank you. Thank you so much. Um. Daniel. Allie. Alice. Yeah, have we met? No, um, you just, you remind me of someone that I used to know. Must be fate. <laughs> hey, I'm Randon. Must be. Diana! Diana, Allie! Kevin! Hey, 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 what happened? Hey, come here. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, oh. fine. Thanks to Daniel. Who? He was just here. I knew you couldn't stay away from me this time, baby. You're my everything. And I will do better this time. I promise. I promise. We go now to 18-year-old Allison Hooper. Allie, you're missing your moment! Oh, God, could they make me look worse? Stop, you look fine. No, 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 your mother's right. Because the way your hair is just matted to your face really brings out your eyes. <laughs> Next thing I knew, Daniel was there. Daniel Kennedy, the dock hand who rescued Allison and her brother from the attack, just started working here at the Silver Sands Marina last month. I thought I looked bad. I can't even tell that's him. Susan say about Daniel? I never found a good time to ask. She was too busy with Jim. <laughs> Teaching him about kindness and understanding, I'm sure. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree in that family. <laughs> but you're right. We should really do something for Daniel. Thank him somehow. Let's keep it simple. Have him over for dinner. That is a great idea. I mean, somebody's got to know who this guy is. Yeah, I'll ask Susan about him when she's calmed down. It might take a while. <laughs> I still can't believe that happened.
person. You're a creeper. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, well, I want to help out as much as I can while I'm here. That's nice. Having a full-time husband that doesn't have to leave every other week would be nicer. It's my job, Di. Can we not start? I know. Please don't do that in front of young, impressionable eyes. Good morning, Allie. Did you sleep okay? Just great, Todd. Wait, look how nice that looks. Oh, that's great. Oh. Allie, I need you to take Kevin to school again today. What? Why? Because you're going that way and I have to work. Wait a minute. Did he stop taking the bus again? You gotta find out what's going on with him, Di. Ted, you know he doesn't talk to me. The only reason I found out about that party is because Susan called and asked why he hadn't responded. Hey there, sporto. How's the leg feeling? Fine. I made pancakes. I'll be outside. Bordo, really? What? He got cut from T-ball for never making a hit and cried about it for days. How was I supposed to know that? I'm trying, Di. Just don't try being his dad. Just try being his friend for starters. Daniel? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I was just, I was heading to my car and I, I saw you there and... Is there something wrong with your car? I don't know. It's old and terrible. Well, it looks like you might need to get it towed. Just what I need. Carson will be out of practice soon. I can just wait for him. Carson? Yeah, my boyfriend. If you want, I, I can give you a ride. No, I couldn't ask you to do that. You probably have something better to do. It's really no problem at all. You really don't have to. Ali, please. It'd be my pleasure. Okay. Sure. I'm sorry, but I kind of feel like I got in the car with a complete stranger. No, don't be sorry. I'm pretty much a stranger giving you a ride, so I get it. Don't get me wrong, I'm really grateful for what you did. But yeah, you are kind of a stranger. Well, hopefully we can remedy that. How is your brother Kevin? He's good. I usually pick him up after classes, but I had to stay late today. He seems like a really good kid. Yeah. He's had some rough patches lately. My mom and Ted don't really know what to do with him. Is Ted your father? Stepfather. Our dad died a few years ago. I am so sorry. That, that was not my place to cry. It's OK. Thank you so much again, Daniel. You're a lifesaver, literally. Please, don't even mention it. Looks like your mom is waiting for you. Actually, she's waiting for you. I texted her you were coming, sorry. No, that's, that's no problem at all. It's so good to see you again, Daniel. It's nice to formally meet you, Mrs. Please call me Diana. No need for formalities for our hero. Oh. The car finally died, Mom. Like smoke and fire died. I'd still be stuck at school if he wasn't walking by. Well, it's a good thing he was. Do you have any plans for dinner, Daniel? No, actually. 
Why don't you come over tonight? I, I would love that if it's okay with you, Allie. Yeah, I know Carson wants to thank you too. Sounds great. Hello, Allison. You look beautiful. Hi, Allie. Shh. Hi, Allie. Hello, Allison. Hello, Allison. Hello, Allison. You look beautiful. Hello, Allison. You look beautiful. Hello, Allison. You look. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Daniel. Hello, Allison. You look beautiful. Thanks. Come on in. These. This must be Carson. Thank you for saving my Allison. Daniel, do you remember my mom? And this is Ted. These are for you, Diana. Oh, what are these for? Well, a beautiful woman always deserves flowers, Diana. Thanks for coming, Dan. You bet. How's the leg, Kev? It's a little sore. I, uh, I heard there were more sightings today. Sharks are territorial, so they'll find a place that they like, and they will stake it out until the food source runs out. You sound like you know a lot about them. That's a bit of an obsession of mine. Actually, uh, I had a run-in with one myself that uh, gave me this bad boy right here. Oh, nice. Oh, did it hurt? Like you wouldn't believe. How'd you get away? I don't really know. Um, as far as I could tell, it was coming right at me. And then I uh, just washed up on the shore, alive. Wow, sounds like it could have really ripped you apart. Well, it could have, but it didn't. And I like to think that uh, it just wasn't my time. There's still a lot of things that I needed to get done. And... <sighs> it's crazy. I've always had this connection with sharks since then. I, I don't know. Have you always worked on the water? I, I grew up in a town like this, so I, I did what I had to do to get by on my own. No parents? No, I, uh, I, I lost my parents, but uh, it's not really something I like to talk about. I'm sorry to hear that. Is there a restroom I can use? What are you doing in here? Oh, I saw the sink. I guess I got lost looking for the bathroom. It's right there. I guess it is. Um, sorry, is this your room? I didn't mean to invade your personal space. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> well, you were beginning to think you got lost up there. I uh, kind of did. <laughs> There's a lot of rooms up there. It's a beautiful home though, it's very comforting. Thank you. Sometimes it feels too big with Ted being out of town all the time. Well, actually, we've been thinking about turning the old office into a guest room and renting it out. We have a guest room, if the kids ever finish clearing their stuff out of it. Do you travel a lot? A um, few days a month or so. Eleven. Who's counting? Well, it's nice to have a father figure around, so you're lucky. I, uh... I wish my dad and I got along. I thought your parents weren't around. Uh, foster parents. 
Well, I, uh, I want to thank you guys for the hospitality. Oh. I should really be going, but uh, I haven't been in town for long, so it's nice to finally make some good friends. Mm. Please, it's honestly the least we could do. Dan, don't be a stranger. I mean I it. will not be. Allie, I'll see you around. Okay. Bye. What's wrong? Nothing. You haven't said a word since Daniel left. Look, he, he seems like a really nice guy. Really, just... I, I don't know, something about him rubs me the wrong way. Why? I don't know, he was always smiling. He always had the right words to say. What a monster. And not to mention, a lot of the things he was saying weren't adding up. Also, he was touching you, like, every chance he could get. You have nothing to worry about. I'm all yours. And I doubt I'll ever even see him again. So promise me you won't make a thing of it. I, I promise. I promise. <laughs> I don't care what they say, you find the shark and get rid of it. The club's insurance is already gonna be wrecked after what happened to that kid. Hey, Mom, I'll be right back. gonna come between us, baby. But you know I won't let that happen, my Allison. You're my everything.
when I got back home from work, the front door was open, and I should have known better. I really should have, but I, I went in there. These three guys, they just, they were stealing everything. They thought they just trashed the place. Thank you. I tried to stop them. You know, I really tried to stop them. I was just don't know. That's terrible, Dan. What did the cops say? There was not much they could do, you know. I tried to get a good look at them, but they ran away. They uh, told me to just change the locks when I get back there. I just, I feel so invaded, you know? It's scary. Well, don't worry, you're staying here with us tonight. No, no. Yes. No, I, I couldn't. I really couldn't. Of course you can. You saved our kids from that shark. It's the least we can do. I just, I'm not used to people being this nice to me, you know? Dan, the spare room is yours as long as you need it. Really? I'd feel a lot better leaving town knowing our family's hero was here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's not much. I'm sorry, I've been asking the kids to clean up their stuff for ages. No, it's no problem at all. Thank you so much. It already feels more like home than anywhere I've stayed lately. All right, well, the bathroom is here. I'll have Allie bring up some towels and sheets for you, and if there's anything else you need, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so, so much, Diana. Honestly, this just means the world to me. Of course. You're letting him stay here? What was I supposed to do? He has nowhere else to go. I know, it's just, we don't even really know him. Well, I think we know him well enough. He seems like a really sweet guy. Besides, I don't really think psychopaths go around saving people's lives. I guess. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Geez, they did a number on you. I'm glad you're okay. Do you need help making the bed? No, I should be good. Is that your artwork? Yeah, from junior high, though, so. You're very talented. Thanks. Well, uh, let me know if you need anything. Yeah, um, are you okay with me being here, Allie? Yeah, definitely. Good. <laughs> Good night. Night. Hey, buddy. Hey. I heard about the break-in, dude. I, I'm i sorry, man, that sounds rough. Yeah, it really sucks when somebody just goes through your belongings, traipses around where they don't belong. I can imagine. Don't worry. Secret's safe with me. What? I won't tell Diana that you're spending the night. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Night. Mm -hmm. So he's just gonna stay there? I guess. It was all Diana. He needed a room, we had a room. Don't go pissing on my leg and tell me it's raining. <laughs> what? Dan doesn't know anyone else in town, and my mom loves him. What's not to love? She don't plan on test driving that car, hand over the keys. Does that mean you want me to put in a good word? Sure. I mean, it can't be any worse than my last few dates. Besides, I always have my mace. You. Right? Well, he's coming to pick me up this afternoon. A roommate and a chauffeur? He's just helping me out with rides until I get my car back from the shop. So wait, Carson is okay with another piece of man candy living across the hall from you? Well, I haven't exactly told Carson yet. Told Carson what? 
I don't know, I, I thought he was just staying for the night. I don't know what the big deal is, Carson. The big deal is that you're my girlfriend and the guy gives me the creeps. I, I don't like the way he looks at you, okay? Sure, he's like a little strange. Don't you trust me? I trust you, I don't trust him. Same difference. Al Ali, oh, I'm serious. I need you to see something, okay? I'm, I'm not sure he is who he says he is. What, are you spying on him? Well, I told you, I, I, I got a bad vibe, he's a creep. The only one acting like a creep is you, Carson. Now, what do you want to show me? You, you need to trust me, okay? I, I don't want you around him. Do you know how insane you sound after you promised me you'd drop it? Um, I, Allie, where are you going? My ride is waiting. this one from you? Keep it. That one's bad luck. So, do you guys break up? No, we're just fighting. Well, that's what you get for dating high school boys, not real men. They're so jealous. I don't know, maybe he has a point. Dan is a little severe, I guess. What if he does have a thing for me? Maybe I should talk to my mom about asking him to leave. Or you could set him up with me. Get Carson off your back. Two birds, one stone. Hey, Dan. Hey, Allie. <laughs> you remember my friend Rhiannon? Yeah, you were at the beach, right? Yeah, she was. Well, you look beautiful. Are you going somewhere? Beach party, Claire's. Wanna come? I'm going with Carson, so Rhi needs a date. And if we get bored, I can show you around town. I know all the best places. They're right next to all the worst places. It's a small town. Sure. Great. One. Hey, Allie. I. Oh. Uh, okay. Hey, hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Allie. You're right. I was jealous. And an asshole. And an asshole. You were wrong too. Looks like Dan's taking a liking to Rhiannon, not me. Whoa. Looks like someone's getting lucky then. Uh, Stop, they just met. Ah, uh, maybe I wasn't talking about that. <laughs> what did you want to show me? Forget it. Hey, Dan. Having a good time? Amazing. It's, it's good. Hey. What's up? I was just on my way back, but I was wondering if you guys wanted to come sit by the fire. I have a better idea. Wanna go for a walk? Really? I feel like I feel like we just got here. Hey, okay. we can stay if you want. No, yeah, let's let's head out of here. You know, I love that dress, I mean. Thanks. It's Al's. But I think it's better on me, don't you? Are you and Allie close? Yeah, we've been best friends since we were kids. She's my ride or die. That's sweet, I think. How long has uh, she been with Carson? I don't know, a couple years now. Is he a good guy? He's got the personality of a wet mop. Wow. But she's really into him. So I guess that's all that really matters. Things serious between them. He's safe. If you're into that sort of thing. Plus, his mother's loaded. Alice's been trying to impress her to no avail since the moment they met. Is everything okay? Do you not want to kiss me? Daniel? 
What? Are you crazy? Maybe you are crazy. So what am I gonna do about this wet dress? Leave it. Hey, bro. I was out to take care of a fish robber. A shark? Yes, sir. You're not planning on killing her, are you? Nah. I'm just gonna catch it and throw it back in. Of course I'm gonna kill it. You know, she never even really hurt anybody. The kid just had a scratch. Listen, man, I don't have anything personal against sharks. I was hired to do a job. Wanna give me a hand? It was so fun. At first, I didn't think he was into it. And then it was like a switch went off, and wow. Good. Any plans to see him again? Not yet, but I'm working on it. OK. Oh, Allison, I'm glad I caught you. I need to talk to you about your portfolio. I'm sorry it was late, Mr. Slate. It won't happen again. You've been chosen by the department for the gallery showing at Silver Sands. Really? It's Thursday night. You don't want to miss it. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, color me lime green jello. Congratulations. <laughs> Hey, Kev. Hi. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. What's going on here? I fell. You fell? Oh, come on, Bob. let's talk about this. You could trust me. Get off me! You're not my father. Whoa, Kev, what's wrong? I'm serious, Di. He needs to talk to someone. Oh, great, you think I'm doing such a terrible job. That has nothing to do with it. He's having trouble at school. He won't talk to us. He needs a professional to help him deal with all Go of this. Go away! I have to see someone after the accident. I can't just force him. Or his mother. That's exactly what you can do. They hate me. No. Nobody hates you. Mom and Dad used to fight like that all the time. I wish Ted would just leave. You want to tell me who gave you that black eye? No. It was Jim, wasn't it? You know, there's always going to be a Jim in your life. Someone so insecure, they just want to take it out on someone smaller than themselves. You gotta learn to stick up for yourself. I guess. Here. Anybody gives you a hard time again, you just use this. Go ahead, take it. But don't tell anyone about this. It's our little secret. I had a kid. Hey, hey, how's he doing? Oh, he's gonna be just fine. Thank you. Ted has no clue how to talk to him. He's pretty much useless, you know? I've noticed. You think it would be better for you guys if it... he just wasn't in the picture? I don't know, maybe. He's not like my dad, that's for sure. Hmm. Call me tonight. You know I will. I love you. I love you too. Hey, Ted. Yeah. Would you mind giving me a ride to the marina? I think it's on the way in my car. It's been acting up. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So, how's the room treating you? Oh, it's it's just great. It's exactly what I needed until I get my place fixed. We really like having you around. Plus, we're not home very often, so it's, it's great to have someone with the kids. Oh, well, I'd do anything for them. Are you going to be gone long? Eh, just a few days. Mm. You know, Allie and Kevin don't really like you, Ted. In fact, they'd prefer if you just died. What? Yeah, they told me last night. Well, you know, they're having a really rough time since Andrew passed. Yeah. Kevin really needs a father figure, though, don't you think? Someone that he can kind of look up to. Excuse me? I'm sorry, Ted. You seem like a really decent guy. Ah! 
Pretty neat, huh? I can't believe I didn't think about this before. Taking the sharks to track it. Hey! Wake up. <gasps> it's a little late in the day for feeding time, but sometimes you just have to spoil them, you know? Thank you. Let's get you up and toasty. And don't you worry, Ted. I will take great care of them. They're my family now. Send a message to Diana. Sorry. Late night, love you, good night. Uh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you know, I could get used to seeing you every day when I wake up. That sounds nice. Yeah. Now get moving before Diana catches oh. you. <laughs> Wait, I didn't tell you. What are you doing Thursday? Oh, uh, we have practice tomorrow. Why? I was chosen for the gallery show at the club. Allie, that's great! Uh, I was hoping you'd be able to come with me. What time does it start? Eight? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. No, I'll, I'll go to practice, get ready, and then I'll head to your place after. Does that mean you're coming? Yes, of course, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> what? What are you doing? I think he was spying on us. <laughs> You're so paranoid, come on. Car said my mom's gonna see you. Come on. How'd it go out there today? Yeah. Gotta look at it a few times. But she's got a tracker on. Oh, really? Yep. Can't kill them if they're tanned. At least you find out why first. She's safe for now. Until I can get the contact info off the track. Well, that's too bad. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he goes. You know, you might have everyone else fooled, but not me. Nothing is happening with you and Allie as long as I'm in the picture, okay? Dude, what are you even talking about? I don't care what you tell Diana. I want you out of that house and gone by the time we get back from Allie's art thing, or I'm gonna show everyone this. Daniel, you took a picture of my ID, Carson? It doesn't look like it's your ID. It may not look like it's my ID, but it's just a bad picture, okay? It's mine. You know, you're right. I wasn't sure either, so I just checked my mom's employee records. You know, maybe you're Daniel Kennedy, but maybe you're not. But nothing else you've told anyone is true. Go on. Tonight?
What the hell are you doing here, man? I just can't have you getting in the way anymore, Cars. She belongs to me. What are you saying? Um... Okay, dude, what, what, what are you doing, dude? Are you insane? What, what the hell? It's your love. It makes you do crazy things. Are you, uh, hanging oh in there? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Daniel, what are you doing? Ah! Uh, oh, my God! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, what are you doing? I'm locked. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, do, 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 do! Let me down, Daniel! This isn't funny! Let me down! Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. There he goes! Daniel, what are you doing? Daniel, stop! Stop, dude! Ah, 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 help me! Somebody help me! Ah! Tracker says it's feeding time! Ah, ah, ah! Dude, stop! Daniel, Daniel, please! I'm so awake! Daniel, 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 please! Ah, ah. My alley will always come back to me. She doesn't want you, man, okay? Please just let me down, man. Dan. That looks great on you. Thanks. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. It's fine, just please knock next time. Here, let me help you with that. I always love it when you wear your hair like that. Have you seen it like this before? Yeah, I think so. In one of the pictures downstairs or something. Probably. You gotta be kidding me. Is everything okay? No, it's not. This is Carson, and if this is Derek, please don't leave a message. I don't believe this. Carson's blowing me off. What? Why? He says he got held up, which means his teammates probably dragged him out somewhere. Does he always choose his friends over you? No, it's not like that. His priorities just aren't exactly how I'd like them to be. Allie, honestly, you shouldn't settle for being someone's second priority. A girl like you deserves way more than that. Thank you. That's very sweet. You mind unzipping me now? Wait, why? No date, no ride. We're already late. Honestly, I'm not really in the mood anymore. That's a shame. You worked so hard for this. You have to go enjoy it, Allie. Honestly, you're going to let him ruin that for you. Do you have plans tonight? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I was thinking I might just go to an art show. I can't believe you took these. You like them? Yeah, they're amazing. You're a true talent. I always knew you do something special, Allison. Allison, dear. Hi, Suze. Congratulations. Thank you so much for hosting this event. It's such an honor to have my work displayed here. Of course. Where's Carson? Wasn't he coming tonight? Carson couldn't make it. Really? I trust there's no trouble in paradise. No, <laughs> just had other plans. Well, I wouldn't take it too personally. You know, I was accepted into Alberta's for the fall. I was hoping to get into their photography program. Yes, Carson mentioned that. You know, my old roommate Janet runs that department, I believe. It, it's very competitive. Congratulations. Oh, I know. Actually, I was hoping maybe if you didn't mind, if you could put oh, Ellie, um, let me just stop you right there. 
I really don't think it would be appropriate if I got involved. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, I understand. You know, it, that really is a nice picture. It's great that you could capture one of those rare moments. Are you okay, hon? Excuse me. Allie, don't let her ruin your night. You don't need her to get into that department. It's not that. Well, then what is it? It's that picture. That's not who my parents were. They were just constantly fighting. That's what happens when people love each other, you know? You, you have disagreements, but you forgive each other. They hadn't been happy for years. The only reason they were still together was because of Kevin. Even the night my dad died, they'd been going at it. Everything outside of the house was just for show. I'm not crazy about Ted, but at least he makes my mom happy. Happier than I've ever seen her. You don't have to make the same mistakes they did. Carson wants to move in together after graduation. I do love him, but we're still so young. What if that all changes tomorrow or 10 years from now? How do you know? You just know when it's right. Maybe you guys aren't meant to be together. Maybe. Okay, what was that? I'm, I'm so sorry that that, that was wrong. I'm, I'm meant to be a friend right now. I, nothing, nothing more. Please don't talk, Carson. We should probably go back. You know what? I'm not sorry I did it. Good morning. I hope you are hungry. What's all this? Oh, this is a celebration. What are we celebrating? You and me. Oh. Ali, I know things have been hard in the past, but everything's gonna work out Daniel, this time. What are you talking about? Our future. Everything that we've dreamed of. Today. Okay, slow down. I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression last night, but... What? I have a boyfriend, Daniel. You know that. I I took care of that. What does that mean? We're gonna be together, finally. It was just a kiss. It doesn't mean anything. You can't do this to me again, Allison. I'm who you're supposed to be with. It's our destiny, okay? Bruce and Allie, that is how the story goes. Who's Bruce? Oh, don't be afraid of me, Alan. You're my everything. Okay, I don't can't touch me. You. you are my world. Okay, I can't Get out of my house! You, me, and Kevin. I family. said get the hell out! Stop! Get your hands off of her! Die. No, you don't understand. No, no, no. You don't understand. You put your hands on her, I put my hands on you. Understood? Now you heard her. Get the hell out of the house. Okay. That's what you want. Mom, it's just like, it's just gonna... We'll change the locks this afternoon. Okay, thank you, thank you.
knocked him out? Yeah, it was kind of impressive. Did he hit on you or something? <laughs> something like that. Now I know why he didn't call me back. Speaking of which, still nothing from Carson? He wasn't in school today. I'm getting really worried. Yeah, I am too. <sighs> worried that you keep putting up with his constant ghosting. He doesn't ghost me. <laughs> this isn't someone from your endless stream of faceless one night stands, Ree. Excuse you? I didn't mean it like that. No, I, I think you did. I just meant Carson's different. We have history. You know, some of us don't want to settle for just being comfortable and safe. Ree, don't you want to ride home? I'd rather walk. Thanks. You can't let me go again that easily, Bruce. Not after we found each other again. I promise, Alice, and I won't let you go. You're my everything. <laughs> I was, uh... Beginning to think you didn't want to see me again. Not at all. Especially when you wear my favorite dress. You're weird. That's okay. So am I. Nice place. Come on it. So have you spoken to Allie at all? This morning. Did she say anything about me? Everything. She told me I shouldn't see you. But then what are you doing here? I don't like being told what to do. Is that so? Mm-hmm. You, sir, wanted to even cause a little fight between us. Well, I hope it's nothing serious. I'll be the bigger person. Reach out once she cools down. Well, I wish you guys all the best, then. So, want to give me a tour? This is pretty, pretty much it. Is that, uh, where you keep the dead bodies? As a matter of fact, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see the bedroom? Okay. Okay. This is Carson, and if this is Derek, please don't leave a message. Carson, I don't know what's going on, but please call me back. met Daniel. Poor guy. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time with the right face. Are you looking for your mace? Look, I'm not gonna tell anyone, but I'm gonna go. his reality. Bruce Kane was dead. 
was I supposed to do? Don't come any closer or I'll send it. You seem like a really sweet girl, Rihanna. Let me go. You really shouldn't have come down here. <laughs> a friend for my wife. Need a ride? Hunter's Cove, who recently helped rescue a young girl from the jaws of a bloodthirsty shark, is going out to search for the massive predator. Bruce Kane is setting sail today, determined to track down that very shark that took Nicholas Jordan's life. Bruce Kane, son of State Rep Richard Kane, is believed to be dead after abducting Laura Wilcox, the same girl he saved from a shark attack just two weeks ago. Ms. Wilcox claimed Bruce Kane had been stalking her when things took a violent turn. Ms. Wilcox also claims he's responsible for the death of his former high school sweetheart, Alice Vaughn. <sighs> Mom, please call me. It's an emergency. Kevin, don't walk home from practice. And if you see Daniel, stay away from him, okay? What do you think you're doing? Kevin and I were just about to do a little fishing. I know who you are, Bruce. I'm at the police station right now. Oh, don't be stupid, Allison. What do you want? I want the story to have a happy ending. Can you stay on the phone, okay? Leave the station now, don't tell anyone anything, and head to the club. Okay, miss, what did you want? Leave. 
now. anymore. You can call me Bruce. Have a seat. Where's Kevin? Oh, he's fine, Allie. He's fine. Have a seat. Sit. What are you doing? I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt any of you. I just, Allie, I, I want to be with you. You came back to me. It gives me purpose, okay? I'm not going to take that for granted. Whatever you want, just leave Kevin out of this. Allie, we're going to be a family. What? I don't have a lot of time before they find out about Ted and Ree and Carson. What did you do to them? Baby, you know, don't be upset. You know, we have some mending to do, but we gotta get out of here. We really do need to go, okay? What? Gonna come with me, Allison! I'm sorry. <laughs> that was uncalled for. Um, have some wine. This is, this is a lot to absorb, and I am sorry. Well, I, I forgive you, Bruce. I do. Mm -hmm. I forgive you, Bruce? love each other and that's all that matters everything's just gonna sort itself out right yes Fiance, kiss. Well, now that that's all out of the way, let's just enjoy ourselves a nice dinner, right? We uh, have all the time in the world to work things out. Kevin. Kevin. Allie. Tell your brother the wonderful news. Bruce and I are engaged. Isn't that wonderful, Kim? Yeah. Your beautiful sister is going to walk down the aisle with the man of her dreams. Run, Kevin!
Oh my god. Oh my god, Mom. I need you to come with me out of your own free will, Allie. I need it to be real this time. <laughs> Don't do this, Bruce, please. I told you. I told you that we were going to be a family, and that we were going to be happy, and that I was going to protect you. Daniel! Stop talking, Diana. God. And we can really do this with or without your mom, but that is gonna be up to you, Allie. We are running out of time. Please stop. Do you want your mom to be at our wedding? Bruce, please! Please stop, Mom! Mom! Oh. Ready to start talking? Leave my daughter out of this! Shy. Ah. Uh. I'll go with you, Bruce. You know, I don't believe you. I'll do whatever you want. What do you want me to do? I want you to love me. I do love you! I don't believe you! Please, Bruce! Bruce! If you mean it, then tell me why. I love you because... because you protect me, and... and because you saved Kevin and me. And, and? And? Bruce and Allie are meant to be together. That's how the story ends. I'll do whatever you want. Just let my mom know. Open the cage. Careful, that's, that's the only copy. Get in. Die out. I'm not letting her in here. Out. I'm sorry to do this to you, but I can't afford to lose you again. I know, I know what you did to that girl. The other girl with the shark. You mean this shark? Because I tracked her here. I fed her so she wouldn't leave. She spared my life, gave me purpose. Ah! <laughs> 
your hands off my son! How good's that aim to hide? Please. 